Professor Love Moore, who is the president of the National Constitutional Assembly, the NCA, has claimed that Chamisa's interest in challenging President Monangagwa in the looming 2023 general elections is just a fool's errand, stating that President Monangagwa is now a moving wave that is unstoppable. Last night, during a Zoom interview that was being chaired by journalists, the opposition parties accused President Emerson Monangagwa of doling out state-of-the-art vehicles to political actors' dialogue, the Poland principles, as part of the ruling party, ZANU-PF's grand plan to create a one-party state in Zimbabwe. President Monangagwa on Friday, handed over 19 Isuzu D-Max vehicles to leaders of fringe political parties which participated in the 2018 presidential elections. Pollard was established by President Monangagwa as a platform to engage with other presidential election candidates. However, some candidates in that presidential election, including the MDC Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa, have snubbed the grouping. During the course of the interview, Zapu spokesperson Ipitule Maposa told the City Times that the idea to give losing opponents luxury vehicles is part of Mnangagwa and Sano PF to implement a one-party state, Maposa said. The Zapu has also snubbed Poland. They just want to continue feeding from the state coffers and more have just joined the gravitain. The people can continue to suffer. The so-called leaders continue to loot and plunder, said Fad Zaimaher, the MDC Alliance spokesperson. MDC Alliance Blawai Provincial Spokesperson Sweden Chiroza also said the priority to give the opposition leaders the expensive vehicles was highly misplaced because the country had more urgent and pressing economic needs to tackle. The outnumbered Maduku got so emotional, lost his temper and raised his voice and suddenly claimed that Chamisa has lost his influence on matters concerning Zimbabwe politics, adding that he was famous in the previous years and neat in the current field, hinting out that he'll get a shocker from Monangagwa in the 2023 polls. According to Maduku, Chamisa should find something else to do and not politicking around, adding that the former ICT minister has been in power via unconstitutional means, an amateur and a pawn in the game presiding over a party that doesn't exist. Chamisa has been in politics for two decades and if he was unable to secure the Secretary General post in, in the MDC all those years, then he should forget about contesting with Monangagwa and find another thing to do, said Professor Love Mo Maduko. The NCA boss further said, there is no way Chamisa can be compared to Munangagwa politically now. Mocking the MDCA leader that should Munangagwa and Chamisa be compared, then it will be like a battle between a cat and an elephant. Well, on the other hand, Chamisa has noted that they are still working out on key issues, including name change, and will later reunite the heavily decimated party that has been affected by the 2020 Supreme Court judgment.